If you have a GoPro Fusion or a GoPro Max camera and occasionally use a selfie stick which contains a quarter inch thread at the end, this video might be for you. In this video, we'll explore the possibility of an anomaly that you might have seen in some of your images and videos that could be caused by the adapter that's adapting from the selfie stick to the GoPro mount. This summer I was taking images and videos at car shows with my GoPro Max 360 camera and I started noticing on this car show that there's a weird anomaly at the very bottom of the images and videos in the Nader area. Uh, here we can see it, it's this circular shape on the sidewalk next to where we're standing here. So the reason for that is most of these quarter inch to GoPro mount adapters, the hole for the thumb screw is off center with the pole. So that's causing the camera to be more to one side of the pole than the other. I found uh, the small tree aluminum tripod mount adapter on Amazon where they showed a good side image where for the first time I could see, well that one appeared to be right down the center. In this image we can see that the small tree adapter more in the center, the other one, the hole is offset. Here it really shows the difference where you can see in the foreground the small tree adapter, the hole is almost right in the middle. And here's just a, the other one kind of all by itself. We can see it's offset. In this image here on the left, we have this standard kind of other generic quarter inch by 20 to GoPro mount. We can see how it's offset. And here we have the lines appearing in the video. Um, that kind of illustrates how that one section of rounded area is outside of the blind spot of the camera. And that's the circular shape that you see down below in the nadir area that appears because the lens is catching that part and projecting it on the floor and it gets caught up in the stitching. On the right we have the small tree adapter where we can see it's more straight down the pole so the mount itself is not going to be visible to the lens. Also the mount is a little bit narrower as you can see in the image so it doesn't stick out as far which keeps it more in the blind spot. And here we have the same comparison of the GoPro Fusion to the left with the generic adapter uh, and to the right with the small tree adapter. Uh, once again we can see to the left that the generic adapter is a little bit outside of the center line of the pole so that lens is going to catch that. Uh, we could try to tilt the camera a little bit to the right uh, on that generic adapter which would kind of put that adapter itself more in the center to hide it but the problem with that is is the right lens now will see more of the pole down below so you can have like a different kind of an issue you're just changing the issue. The small tree on the right we can see again it's more straight up and down the center line of the pole when it's tightened so you don't have any issues. To verify that the quarter inch to 20 generic adapter was causing an issue in the nadir area creating that anomaly. Um, I went ahead and took a tripod and mounted a thin piece of cardboard on top of the tripod uh, and then mounted a white sheet of paper on top of the piece of cardboard and then mounted a selfie stick from Insta360 with approximately two feet up from the surface area of the cardboard and the sheet of paper and performed some tests. In this image we have the GoPro Max with the small tree quarter inch to GoPro adapter and we do not have the anomaly present on the white sheet of paper. In this image we have the GoPro Max with a standard other style generic quarter inch to GoPro adapter that you would typically find in a lot of the GoPro accessory kits that people are selling online. And we do see the anomaly as well as a really oddity uh, in the shape of the stitching of the paper got really thrown off in this image for some reason. 
In the next image, we again have the GoPro Max with the small tree quarter inch to GoPro adapter. Here I'm putting my hand over the pole to simulate walking around with the pole and you can see that we do not have the anomaly present. And here we have the GoPro Max with the generic quarter inch to GoPro adapter. And here we do have the anomaly present. This is the GoPro Fusion camera with the small tree quarter inch to GoPro adapter. We notice here that we do not have the anomaly present. And in this image, we once again have the GoPro Fusion, but this time with a generic kind of other brand quarter inch to GoPro adapter. And here, because of that offset uh, of the hole, we have that anomaly present. And here I'm holding my hand over the pole to simulate again the walking around with the selfie stick and this is the GoPro Fusion with the small tree quarter inch to GoPro adapter and we do not have any anomaly present and here we have the GoPro Fusion with the other kind of generic branded GoPro adapter and we do have an anomaly present One downside to the small tree adapter is that it is made out of aluminum so when you tighten the thumb screw of an aluminum mount to a plastic mount, it doesn't seem to hold as tight as two plastic mounts being held together with a thumb screw. So it really needs to be tight, otherwise it's gonna move around. So if you don't already have one, you'll want to get a GoPro wrench if you're using this adapter, so you can get that connection a lot more tight than you will be able to do with your fingers. If you found this video helpful or informative, or think I did a great job, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It would really help me out. Also, if you have a favorite selfie stick that you use, put it in the comments below, as well as any adapters that you use on top of the selfie stick if you need a quarter by 20 adapter. Please consider also subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate that support. Thank you and have a great day.